Subscribe now. EU debates. Thank you, Chair, Commission, uh, Council. Let me first welcome the, the uh, President von der Leyen announcement on the buy at Russia all to be included in the new sanctions package. This support to Ukraine needs to go hand in hand also in supporting our citizens most affected from the consequences of war. We are at the doors of possible, possibly the third once in a lifetime deep crisis that generations of Europeans will suffer. The cumulative crisis have led to devastating social consequences in our continent. 96 million people in the EU are already at risk of poverty. Increased inequalities, the return of war in Europe, and the existential threat of climate change is a scary prospect. And once again, history knocks at the doors of the European project. During the pandemic, the EU learned how to respond to difficult economic and social situations after the disastrous years of the uh, austeritarian lunacy. Now we need to show that this willingness to protect our citizens will be the norm and not the exception. Price inflation in the EU has reached levels not seen since the 70s, but half, we know, is directly due to fossil energy price rises. And it is why we need action on the energy sector. It is, not time, it is not time, in our opinion, to restrict our accommodative monetary policy, which would have disastrous economic consequences, but to accelerate our energy transition. And it is not time either, I'm sorry to say, to postpone our Green New Deal. I mean, climate change does not wait, and we know that uh, our Green Deal and energy transition is the best solution to the crisis that we are having, so I cannot more than disagree with what the EPP has said this morning today in the plenary. We know that we need to accelerate that energy transition, and for that, we will probably need also no financial instruments to be put in place. It is what, that is why we want also to call for a new energy sovereignty facility to facilitate member states to accelerate that transition. We know that politically this is difficult. Putting in place the RRF was a difficult process, but we need to be ambitious, and I'm sure that we will be able to do that again. Thank you so much. Thank you.